from the Legal Docs by Me Sports Desk. Here's Julie Bueller. He can't, he can't, he can't find long. the challenge flag. That's the problem. It's tucked in there somewhere. He doesn't want to burn another timeout, and there we go. <laughs> And poor Hugh Jackson, not only was locating his challenge flag a struggle, but under the NFL rules, the play in question couldn't even be challenged. And so the woes for the Cleveland, the Cleveland Browns continue as they march another game closer to becoming just the second team in NFL history to go winless. The truth is, though, without their week one victory to start the season, the 49ers would be competing with the Browns for the inglorious crown of the NFL's worst team. And Sunday's game demonstrated exactly why. The Falcons took an early lead. There you saw Devontae Freeman with an easy score. And if playing the league's leading offense wasn't challenging enough, well, for the second possession for the Niners, they decide, hey, we'll give you the ball back, Falcons. Atlanta recovers the fumble from Carlos Hyde. You get the idea. The entire game went just like this. Final in Atlanta. 41-13. And Niner fans, it's start, time to start rooting for the Browns. So at least maybe San Francisco can get the top overall pick. Meanwhile, the Raiders, well, they're looking for the top overall seed in the AFC, and that's still in their sights after a narrow victory in San Diego. The Chargers, though, not looking to make it easy on their top rival. They score first. Here you see Philip Rivers with the bomb, and the Chargers take a 7-0 lead, but Derek Carr finds who else? Michael Crabtree in the end zone. Game-tying touchdown, and then the megastar himself, Sebastian Janiskowski, had four, count them, four field goals on the day. This one, the game winner, 19 16 the final the Raiders clinched their first playoff berth since 2002 ladies and gentlemen the 14-year wait is finally over they're heading to the postseason while the Raiders took care of their business the Kansas City Chiefs still on the tiebreaker over the Raiders so if these two teams finish with identical records then the Chiefs will win their division but Raider fans you should be sending some extra Christmas cards to the Tennessee Titans because even at minus nine degrees and even with multiple turnovers, the Titans overcame a 14-point deficit and eked by the Chiefs 19-17. to So the Raiders are once again atop the AFC West. And Palm Desert's own DJ Alexander had four tackles for the Chiefs in that game. But with the loss, the Chiefs miss out on clinching their own playoff spot. At least they aren't eliminated from playoff contention, though. Four teams were today, namely... The Chargers, sorry San Diego fans, the Eagles, the Cincinnati Bengals, and the Arizona Cardinals, who, gosh, last year played in the conference championship. But the defending Super Bowl champs, the Broncos, well, their playoff hopes took a major hit, too, with the home loss to the Patriots. Now, on the flip side of that Broncos loss, the Patriots clinch their eighth straight division title. Ladies and gentlemen, that's a new NFL record, and they are guaranteed a first-round bye. This team is nothing short of amazing. If it's not Tom Brady, it's LeGarrette Blunt. If it's not one of them, it's the defense getting the job done. Watch out for the Patriots in the postseason. But that's it, ladies and gentlemen. There's only four teams that have secured a playoff spot. The Dallas Cowboys did it first. The Seattle Seahawks did it on Thursday. The Patriots and the Raiders did it today. 18, count on 18 teams still remain in contention. Now, the best part of the remaining weeks of this NFL season is that each game could impact another. For instance, the Packers, oh my goodness, this game was amazing to watch, helped themselves by beating the Bears in dramatic fashion, 30-27. to 27. And the Packers also got assistance from the New York Giants, who beat the division-leading Lions. Look at this catch by Odell Beckham Jr., just amazing. That's why he uh, goes by ODB. That's all you need to know about him. Remarkable stuff. So the different games will impact the outcome of the entire NFL season. And there's a lot more to go, Angie. Two Look, more weeks. Looking forward to it, Julie. <laughs> Coming up next, we take you.